Hello and welcome back to Football Daily, where today we are giving you 10 times high profile transfers were hijacked by another club. 10. Alexis Sanchez It was no secret that Sanchez wanted out of Arsenal in January 2018 after spending four years with the Gunners and clearly being their best player, helping them win two FA Cups and a Community Shield. The 29-year-old wanted to challenge for the title and play Champions League football, and speculation grew with Manchester City looking the favourites to get the forward signature. Pep Guardiola pulled out the oil money checkbook and offered the Gunners 50 million for the Chilean star, but Wenger failed to secure Thomas Lamar as a replacement, scuppering the move. Sanchez still had his eye on a deal to reunite with his former boss in Manchester, and reports claimed an improved package deal was agreed by both clubs, allowing the Chilean to make the move in January. However, Jose Mourinho had other ideas, and in an attempt to get one over on Pep, he offered to make Sanchez the highest paid player in the Prem and send the unwanted Mkhitaryan the other way. City pulled out of the race to get the forward, and for once, a high profile swap went through. Though, Sanchez scored just three goals in 18 appearances over his first six months at Old Trafford. 9. Lucas Moura After missing out on Eden Hazard in 2012, Alex Ferguson was desperate for a young winger and spent the summer in hot pursuit of 19-year-old Brazilian wonder kid Lucas Moura, who won a silver medal at the London Olympics with Brazil. There were reportedly a number of meetings between Sao Paulo and United to negotiate the transfer fee, but they could not come to an agreement, prompting Sir Alex Ferguson to make a massive bid of 30 million to get the transfer over the line. He was so confident that at Old Trafford, the club had prepared the ground for Lucas to have his medical, but due to his national commitments, he was not allowed to leave the Olympic tournament early. Before the transfer window closed, PSG came in with a shock bid of £45 million for the winger, shocking him, Sao Paulo and Ferguson. The Brazilian club gleefully accepted the bid and Moura joined the French Giants in January 2013. A shake in Ferguson stated in an interview, when somebody's paying £45 million for a 19-year-old boy, you have to say the game's gone mad. Well, I guess nobody should tell him how much Kylian Mbappe cost. 8. Michael Laudrup Former Danish Player of the Year Michael Laudrup had a spectacular career winning four consecutive La Liga titles between 1991-94 and the European Cup in 1992 as a member of Johan Cruyff's dream team. Before reaching the heights he did in Spain, the Dane caught the continent's attention with Bromby, where he made 38 appearances and scored 24 goals. This accomplishment earned him the 1982 Danish Player of the Year and also the attention from Liverpool. Laudrup was set to sign a three-year deal at Anfield, but Joe Fagan, the Liverpool manager at the time, got greedy and decided to add another 12 months to the deal. This seemed to put the attacking midfielder off as he refused to sign the new deal and Juventus swooped in buying him for around £1 million. It was the biggest transfer in Danish football history and Laudrup went on to win Serie A in his first season. The Merseyside faithful will always wonder what would have happened if they had just stuck to the deal. 7. Mohamed Salah Mohamed Salah is now the most talked about player in the Premier League, but before his rise in Merseyside, he was subject to a hijacking and funnily enough, his current employers were the team that suffered. Salah was dubbed the Egyptian Messi during his time at Basel and scored 17 times in just 17 appearances for his country, attracting Liverpool boss Brendan Rodgers, who made the winger his primary January target in 2014. Liverpool were preparing an £8 million bid for the wide man, but Jose Mourinho and Chelsea had other ideas. The Blues were ready to pay £12 million for the Egyptian, and with the departure of Juan Mata to Manchester United, they were desperate to replace him with the then 21-year-old, who had helped Basel defeat Chelsea in the Champions league that season. Ultimately, it came down to a phone call from Jose Mourinho who convinced Salah that he needed him, only for the Portuguese to hand the Egyptian just 13 appearances at Stamford Bridge, quickly offloading him to Italy. 6. Cristiano Ronaldo On the latest edition of players Arsene Wenger could have bought, this one comes as quite of a surprise. The French manager recently revealed that he could have wrapped up a deal for Ronaldo if the negotiator moved a bit faster. Wonder whose fault that was, Arsene? The five-time Ballon d'Or winner and the four-time Champions League winner was set to leave Sporting in 2003 following an impressive run of performances in his debut season for the Portuguese side. Initially, Arsenal offered Sporting £4.5 million and even invited the young forward to the training ground with his mother to charm the youngster into joining. Although things looked positive for Arsenal, it would be Manchester United who would get the signature of the forward, following an impressive game against the Red Devils in a friendly. Ronaldo was the subject of a £12 million bid from United, a fee Arsenal could not compete with at the time. United coach Carlos Queiroz played a pivotal role in luring the forward away from Arsenal, giving the Red Devils was their first ever Portuguese player. We think it's fair to say 
it worked out. Five, Mo Johnson. There's only a few transfers in football that would anger both sets of fans involved, and Mo Johnson was definitely one of them. From 1984 to 1987, the Scottish striker made 99 appearances for Celtic, scoring 52 goals, but surprisingly moved to French club Nantes the season after. He initially claimed he would never return to Scottish football, but after a press conference, he seemed to have reconsidered, saying there's no other British club he would play for apart from Celtic. Nothing had been officially signed, but the deal seemed more or less done, until Rangers manager Graham Souness pounced and made an offer to Johnson that he couldn't refuse. He joined the Teddy Bears and became the club's first major Catholic signing, breaking the Rangers policy which had stood since the Second World War. What makes this transfer saga even worse is that in the summer of 1989, Johnson was pictured wearing a Celtic shirt alongside Hoops boss Billy McNeil. Rangers fans were incensed, burning their scarves and threatening not to turn up to games, but they quickly forgot their objections when Johnson scored against the Hoops in their next meeting, going on to help the club win two successive league titles and the Scottish Cup. 4. David Beckham After a well-documented incident between Beckham and Ferguson, which led to a cut in the winger's beautiful face in 2003, there was strong speculation that United and Barcelona were working on a deal for the Englishman that summer. He had won six league titles, two FA Cups and the Champions League with the Red Devils, but despite his beef with Fergie, the England international reportedly did not want to leave Old Trafford. The wide man suggested that the deal with Barca was done behind his back and that Sir Alex would not discuss the details with him, and he was adamant that if he left Old Trafford, it would be for Real Madrid. But United didn't care, publicising their agreement with Barcelona in an attempt to strong-arm Beckham into the switch. Beckham, who was on holiday in the States, quickly returned to Manchester and instructed his agent to arrange a meeting with Real Madrid president Florentino Perez, thrashing out a 25 million agreement to become their newest Galactico. The news came as a bitter blow for the newly elected Barcelona president, Joan Laporta, who based his campaign around signing the Englishman. 3. Romelu Lukaku Now this hijacking is like no other. Normally when you sell a player, it means you don't want to buy them back. But with Lukaku, this was not the case. He was bought by Chelsea in 2011 but made only 10 appearances in the shirt and scored no goals, resulting in two years of loans before eventually being bought by Everton in 2014 after a successful season with the Toffees where he scored 15 goals in just 31 games. A snip at 28 million, the Belgian went on to score a further 53 goals for Everton and became one of only five Premier League players to score 50 goals before the age of 23. This incredible record sparked rumours that a return to Stamford Bridge was on the cards, and with Lukaku rejecting a new £140,000 a week contract, and openly expressing his hunger to play Champions League football, it looked likely that he would make his return. Chelsea were favourites to land the forward all summer, until their former boss Jose Mourinho made a last-ditch effort to hijack the deal and make Lukaku a Man United player, offering £75 million and to pay the ridiculous agent fees Mino Raiola requested. Chelsea backed out and instead brought in Alvaro Morata, who strangely enough had originally rejected United. 2. Juan Mata Arsenal suffered transfer embarrassment after embarrassment, constantly being rejected by targets or seeing richer sides outbid them. But in 2011, Arsenal were ready to break their transfer record to sign Juan Mata from Valencia. Mata had previously won the Under-21 World Cup with Spain and was seen as an ideal replacement for Cesc Fabregas, who was Barcelona-bound. The Gunners had originally offered Valencia £30 million but increased it to £80 million after the first bid was laughed at. Lost Chair rejected the improved fee and once again the hijacking Kings Chelsea swooped in with a £23 million bid for the Spaniard with Fernando Torres convincing the midfielder that Stamford Bridge was the ideal home for him. Mata was given the number 10 shirt and spent two and a half seasons with the Blues, winning the Champions League and the club's Player of the Year award twice. Another embarrassing transfer failure for Arsenal and Mr Wenger. 1. Ronaldinho The 2005 Ballon d'Or winner and FIFA World Player of the Year only became an icon after signing for Barcelona in 2003, but he could have been a legend at the Theatre of Dreams if Barca president Joan Laporta didn't steal the Brazilian from under Alex Ferguson's nose having missed out on Beckham. Ronaldinho had announced himself to the world after being instrumental in Brazil's 2002 World Cup triumph, with two goals and two assists in five games. United were in pole position to sign him following the sale of Beckham, and even Cy Cleberson to keep him company. However, Sandro Rossell, vice president of Barcelona, was good friends with Ronaldinho, then starring at PSG and convinced him his future was in the Camp Nou, with PSG rejecting United's bid of £24 million and accepting Barcelona's £30 million offer. United were forced to look on enviously as Ronaldinho took the Blagrana to the top of world football, lifting the 2006 Champions League. The magician recently admitted that while he was very close to signing for the Red Devils, he always felt it was his destiny to join Barcelona. Well, we guess he was right. Well, that's that, guys. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, click here for more great FD content. And as ever, don't forget to like and subscribe. You